Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try All of Me by John Legend. Uh, to be in this key, we're going to put the capo at the first fret. <clears throat> that way we can play our nice simple chords and not all bar chords. Alright, here's your intro. E minor. C. G. To D. And you repeat that. E minor. C. G. To D. Okay, E minor is the 5th string and the 4th string 2nd fret. Everybody else is open. Then if you do it with your 1 and 2 fingers like this, you can pivot on your middle finger to go to a C chord. So you need 2nd string, 1st fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, which is what you pivoted on, and 5th string, 3rd fret. I'm going to mute the 6th string. That's my C chord. Then my G chord, I'm going to do 6th string, 3rd uh, fret, 5th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, and 1st string, 3rd fret. Then I'm going to pivot on this, the ring finger, uh, to go to a D chord. So I need, I'm going to 2nd string, 3rd fret, 3rd string, and 1st string at the 2nd fret. That's my D chord. I get my thumb up here and I mute the 6th string on a D chord because it does not sound good. Okay, that's your intro. Now, uh, let's talk about the rhythm. The rhythm is, I'm going to do 3 down strokes like on each chord. Simply repeat that, okay? All downs would be cool. Sounds just like what the piano is kind of doing. Uh, what it is, it's like a dotted quarter note, and then like another dotted quarter note, or like an eighth note tied to a quarter note. So the, the, it's one and a half and one and a half beats, and then one beat at the end on the on beat four of the bar. So it's like on beat one, and on the end of two, and then on beat four when you're coming in. So, if you like to think of things like that. But I just use my ear. I certainly don't count it. I suppose I can, but who needs that aggravation? So, intro twice. Now, when the verse starts, it's, it's just that. We don't have to go over it. It's the same progression, but you do it four times. This is the, uh, what would I do without your smart mouth? So, E minor, C, G, to D. is the part where he's singing about all right my head's underwater I'm breathe but I'm breathing fine you're crazy and I'm out of my mind so all we've done is we're going to take the the E minor that we had been doing we're going to replace it with an A minor chord but the rest of the progression is the same so it's A minor C G D and you do that twice uh, the piano is doing arpeggios at this point he's uh, he's getting more complicated with his um, playing so what I did was I just dumbed it down on the guitar and the ook. Um, I just uh, created a strum pattern so it's more like a guitar song at this point. And uh, what I did was uh, down, down, up, up, down, up. So, so down, down, up, up, down, up. Then you go right to the C, same thing. G, the same thing. And then D. if you want to make it a little bit more interesting and then you're on to the chorus okay so oh a minor we got to go over sorry this is your last chord that you need to know second string first fret fourth and third string second fret I mute the sixth string on that one with my thumb okay that's all you need to know now the chorus the chorus is a, uh, the all of me part loves all of you it's a G twice E minor twice, A minor twice, C once, to D once, again G twice, E minor twice, A minor twice, C once, D once, and then E minor to C, to G, to D. This is 
just like the intro. Okay, so that's your chorus. And that last little part is when he's going, because I give you all of me, and you give me all of you, that part. So hopefully I didn't go too fast. Uh, I kept that same strum, the down, down, up, up, down, up, for each chord. Uh, some of the chords get two patterns, some get one. You just have to kind of catch on to that. So that's your chorus. Um, and then things just repeat. You just do the verse again, the pre-chorus, and then the chorus again. Then he goes back to the pre-chorus, the A minor part, and then the chorus again. Uh, he didn't have a third verse that he wanted to put in there, so... Uh, the outro of the song is just, you just tack on that E minor to the C that you did, to the G, to the D. Instead of doing it twice, at the end of the song, he does it four times. And that's it. And then you end on a D chord. Okay? So that's pretty much it. You know, it's intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus. Verse, pre-chorus, chorus, pre-chorus, chorus, pre chorus, and then that little outro part. I will play through the whole thing. All right, and um, there are a couple things you could do um, before I play through the whole thing. Let me show you a couple things that you could do to make it more of a guitar song, like a little bit more interesting. Not much, but in the chorus, when you're playing a G chord, right? Let me slow it down. Down, down, up, up, down, up, and then you do it again. And then add that F sharp in the bass, that six string second fret. So the second pattern on G would be down, down, up, up. And then you're going to do it, usually you do a down up, but you're just going to do a down on that one note and then go right to the E minor for two patterns. And then when you get to the A minor, you do one pattern on it. And then that second pattern, you're going to add the fifth string second fret that leads to the C to the D. Okay? So let me play it fast. So it's G. Instead of just hitting the note, you could hit the whole chord, so it sounds more, you know, you can just wail away. So G. I think I probably did a down up, like when I went to the... So you could do stuff on the D chord, too. You could go... Anything you want. All that is is like D sus for you, adding your pinky to the first string third fret. Go back to the D, lift it up for the open first string, that's a D sus too. Go back to a D. So you can do stuff like that.
Sullivan. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and play more guitar.